So now let's let's go to part e, question 2b1. Given that z is equal to negative 1 plus i, find the value of z conjugate. When you put z bar, it's basically the same as z conjugate. So z bar is um, negative 1 minus i because I, I need to conjugate, I need to put change the sign where there is i. Okay? So we have the square root of, I'll put negative 1 minus i, then again minus i minus 3. I square it. So I'll have now, um, these two give me negative form, right? Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So I'll have negative 4 minus 2i squared. So if you have got something which is in the modulus and it is squared, it's basically the same as in you square root it, so you are finding the magnitude plus that. That's what we normally do. So if if we can clearly see here that 4 squared is 16, negative 4 squared is 16, plus 4, which is going to be 25. Mm, 20, not 25. So this one can be written as 4 times 5. The square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So it can be 2 root of 5. So if you have, be, you have been given something in the square root, in the modulus and it is squared, then you have to put it in the square root. You are finding the magnitude in, in that case. Okay, so the answer here is this. 2 root 5. Let's go to part 2. Part 2 now, it's also interesting. One thing we should take note is that i squared is um, negative 1. Okay? So if I have got i to the power 18, for example, let's start with i to the power 3. It's the same as i to the power 3 times i. So this is going to be negative 1 times the i. So it will, I'll end up having negative i. Meaning that if I rewrite this, 5 divided by i plus 2, then I'll have negative i minus. Now let's go ahead and also do i to the power 18. So i to the power 18, you can bring i 9 times if you want. Or if you want, you can bring i, yeah, but 9 times is going to be easy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you know that i squared is negative, so then you replace it with negative. This is negative 1, that's negative 1, that's negative 1 that's negative 1, that's negative 1, that's negative 1, that's negative 1, that's negative 1. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you know that negative times negative is positive. So these two is positive 1, positive 1, positive 1, positive 1. And I'll end up having negative 1. Because positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So I have got now 20 divided by negative 1, of which is same as plus 20. So I have 5i plus 2 over negative i, then plus 20. Of which again, to make things simple again, let's not complicate things, it's the same as 5 over i minus 2 over i plus 20. Now you can get the conjugate now, you say 5 divided by i times negative i over negative i minus, so you put these ones in there in the brackets, negative 2 over i then times negative i over negative i, like that, plus 20. So if we do the math, I'll have negative 5i over negative i squared minus, so negative and negative now is going to be plus 2i over, because this negative and that negative will be positive, divided by i squared, like that, 
then plus 20. So i squared, so it's going to be negative 5i, I divide it by negative i squared is negative 1 plus 2i, i squared is negative 1. Like that. So now this is going to be uh, negative 5i, but remember there is 20 here. Then we have hmm? Okay, what do we have? So we have hmm? plus 2, so now divided by 1, even here we divide it by 1, 2i, this is 2i, plus 20. We can get rid of this to create space. So we have now negative 5i plus 2i plus 20. So this will give me negative 3i plus 20. But the question is, we leave the answer in form of a plus ib. So the first one should be the real number. So it's 20 minus i minus 3i. So that's the answer. Okay. That is it for part b.